Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and today I want to show you one option of what to do if you get locked out of your RV. Now, normally, and the best policy is to lock your front door with the key, like this. You lock it, unlock it, do it with the key. However, you can also lock it by taking this lever and just pushing it down. And this is pretty much a standard locking mechanism that most RVs, or especially motorhomes, have. So if I push this down and close the door, then it is locked. And if I don't have my key with me, then I am locked out. And that can happen two ways. Either because you have purposely locked it and walked out, not checking to make sure you have your keys with you, or also there's been a few times when I have opened the door and accidentally hit this while I'm putting the handle up or down. So if I accidentally, if I just accidentally do that and then close it, I'm in the same situation. So of course, you need to have a spare key somewhere outside. Now if you have a companion with you, it's always best for both of you to have a key. So if one of you get locked out, the other one can open it. If you're locked out and you don't have another key to get in, then I pity you. <laughs> I can't imagine what it's going to take to break into one of these unless you have an open window in a good place to do it. I can't imagine what it would cost to repair one of these windows that you have to just break open in with a hammer to get in. Now you might be able to get a locksmith to open it for you. That's probably the first thing you want to try other than breaking your window to get in. But there's a much better solution of this problem. You're probably familiar with these types of devices that are normally used by real estate agents to put a key in there, lock it with the combination, and then latch it onto your doorknob. So this, I think, is the best solution. And these are easy to find. I just bought mine on Amazon. The way it works is that you open it up, and you put your spare key in here and then close it and lock it and don't forget the combination however then you have to decide where are you going to keep it so let's look at a few options you can put it in one of your storage bins providing you also have on your person the key to the storage bins but then also the storage bin that has the batteries in it the batteries are in a storage bin that does not have a bottom to it because the batteries need to have a lot of ventilation so you may be able to find a place under here where you can just reach underneath and get it uh, like onto there or onto there you can connect a spare key however anyone else can get to it too as well you might be able to find a little better hiding place than that somewhere in this battery storage compartment now another option is the compartment that has the propane tank in it which is this one and as you can see all my storage compartments have a locking mechanism there well this one with the propane tank does not have a locking mechanism and that's because in an emergency someone may need to get into the propane tank to turn off the gas connection to the coach if there's a fire or a potential fire and I think probably it, it's illegal to have a propane tank in a lock storage compartment so I think this is a better option than in the battery compartment. So where do you put it in here? 
there are a few choices where to hang it like on this heavy cable here but there's another cable back there that is much more solid and tighter and doesn't hang down like this one does so on this device once it's open you press a release and then this comes open like that so that lets you hang it on what you want to hang it on so I have now attached it hanging on to that cable which is a really hard cable and it's really not going to move much when I'm driving so now I just put my key in it and close it and scramble the combination so now as long as I can remember that combination I can get into it whenever I want and I'm not really worried about everyone knowing that it's there because it would be extremely difficult to get that thing open and get that key out of there if someone wants to break in to my motorhome it is much much easier to just bust a window open so there you go folks that's my suggestion of what to do to always have a spare key handy in the case you get locked out of your motorhome good day folks